Hey guys, Final Master Link here. Playing uh, a game. Uh, uh, Lunar. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I started late. Uh, I actually tried to stop door dashing um, like before nine o'clock, but I kind of took a nap for a little bit because I was a little tired. But yeah, um, gonna try to I guess beat the game tonight. Uh, I mean I can go until eleven thirty, but like the thing is I'm not, you know it's not the weekend yet. You know what I mean? Like I I, I gotta work Friday. You know, but then, uh, but then after I'm done working Friday, I I'm, I'll be on vacation from Monday to Wednesday. So there's that, and I'm pretty sure. Uh... Well, to be honest, I don't really have to fly. Uh, fly. I don't really have to drive that far to my destination. Um, so I, I'd, I'd imagine I'd be able to just... I'd imagine I'd be able to just um, stream Saturday and Sunday. Maybe. If, if I'm not door dashing. Because, like, I, I expect to uh, be able to make $100 just this weekend, honestly, from DoorDash, so... That's what happened last weekend. I don't see why not. In fact, I wouldn't doubt if I made um, like fifty dollars or so just um, uh, just from tomorrow. You know, Friday. Because you know who doesn't want to order out on a Friday night? But yeah. So uh, let's uh try to teleport to the thing we need to go to, which I kind of forgot where. Uh, okay, so, like, the thing at Vane got blow, blown up, right? Like, the, the fortress, so we can... It's just kind of planted there, then. Let's go to Althena's Shrine. Because that should just be right next to where the city once was. Right? Hope so. Yeah, there it is. It's right there. Alex, you know we can't enter Vane since it fell. What a terrible fate. Why did it ever come to this? Galleon must pay! Uh-huh. So we can enter this thing now, dope. Amazing, isn't it? The closer you are to this rolling turret, the uglier it gets. Alex, how do we get inside? I don't see any doors. Magic, that's how we get inside. Oh, there we go, there's a door. Okay, you wanna fight, bitch? One group of other, uh, uh, one group of ugly mother scrappers straight ahead. Compliments of Galleon. I hope you fight as well as you swear, Kyle. I mean, I was about to swear. I thought he said motherfuckers. That's what I would've said if I was him. Okay, we got these things called death armors. Uh, great. It looks like we're surrounded. Great. Uh, we're gonna use dragon anger to fuck them up. Um, so yeah. We're actually gonna use... Oh, pat. Okay, I guess I can't use power sleep. Ooh. Yeah, do that. Get all those guys. You defend. I mean, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to wipe them all out with Flameria and, um... Oh. Never mind, is good enough. 7,000 XP, people. That's dope. Now I'm that big dick level 40, Alex is. That's nice, that's nice. You gained a level 2, that's also nice. I also gained a level, nice. And Jessica also gained a level. Very nice. Yeah, I think it's safe to say uh, we'll probably be 40-ish uh, by the time we actually beat the game. More guys? I mean, that's fine. I'm suddenly not having any fun. 
Alex, this is useless. Galleon must have legions of monsters lined up here, uh, up in here. We have to get inside and cut them off at the source. But how, Nash? We'll be lucky to survive the next battle. Um, actually, I think we'll be just fine in the next battle. Because, uh, we're just spamming more of this shit, really. Yeah, go and target those guys. You defend again. By the power uh, of I don't know if we'll actually take down the guys that are floating there. Everything has to be dead, yeah. Check this gotta out. take care of the floating dudes here. They're resistant against electricity, apparently. Sort of wasted on heat now, but this one. Starlight. Two starlights. Nice, nice. Maybe this final area gives us a lot of starlights, like from killing those mages. That's nice of them. Even more this time. We're surrounded! Alex, it's been an honor and a privilege to fight beside you. Too bad you were such a wuss we couldn't finish as winners. We were so close, Alex. Don't give up yet, all of you. My dad was in a fight for seven days and he never quit. Dad also wasn't fighting an army of monsters, Jessica. Alex, I don't want to die. Oh, it's, uh, what's his nuts? Uh, Tempest and, uh, that his sister or whatever. Those were arrows. What the? Alex, over there. Dragon Master, are you all right? Tempest. Has somebody told you that you're gorgeous? Hey there, sweet pants. I thought you only had eyes for me. The Prairie Tribe will never forget what you did to us all. What er, what you all did for us. Uh, we'll fend off the monsters while you find the Magic Emperor to, and fulfill your destiny. Thanks, Tempest. There will be time for thanks when the Emperor lies dead at your feet. Now go! Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I, I hope they at least throw, like, a couple all thing statues in here or something to restore my HP and MP. If they, if they really expect me to go all the way through this shit, like, with, without the ability to buy those, um, those starlight things, I, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. Let's actually, let's use that magic, yeah, or flame circle, let's do that. You attack too. I have no idea what those floating tank By looking things are. Athena. But yeah. Okay, that flame circle Check didn't this really do dick, did it? get some starlight drops from some of these enemies or whatever. Actually, you know what would be kind of cool is what if there was a ring in the game that actually, um, there's a ring, as you wore it, it actually, like, restored your MP. So kind of like a regen just for your magic instead of your health. I think that'd be kind of neat. Let's see, let's try to do this a little bit less wasteful. Uh, so Nash, you try using a lightning bolt on one of those. Uh, Mia, you try using a flame bomb on that one in the back. Hey, Frog, how's it going? Okay, who wants some tongue? Oh, goodness. Are, are, you, are you glad I'm just actually streaming tonight, Frog? I, 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 I assure you, I turned DoorDash off. I already made, like, almost $30 this evening, which is kind of cool. Um... But it, it seems like during the weekdays, uh, in my small town, the only kind of the only kind of peak is like from 6:30 to 8 o'clock. So I think that might be kind of the norm for for whenever I'm uh, door dashing during the weekdays. Uh, and then so maybe I'll be start streaming at like 8:30 or 9 o'clock. 
which I've kind of done that in the past anyway. But... I mean, the money's pretty much... Because, like, at my... At, at this rate... Um, I mean, not gross, but at this rate, I can easily make, like, $800 a month doing DoorDash, it seems like. Which is kind of nuts, in my opinion. But, yeah. I mean, I, I figure tomorrow... Uh, there's going to be no streams tomorrow. Not if I can... If I think I can make a bunch of money through DoorDash just because it's a Friday night. I mean, goddamn. Pizza Hut alone down the street. Who knows how much business they get in a Friday night. Although, I actually haven't delivered a, a whole lot of pizzas uh, this week. It's mostly been either McDonald's, Lee's Chicken, or Taco Bell. Like, those three fast food places. I, I've yet to deliver uh, DoorDash any Arby's. Because there is an Arby's in my town. I'm pretty sure they support that shit. But, yeah. By the power of Alfina. Check this out. Jessica hit somebody else. Whatever. At least I silenced one of them. Or maybe I didn't? Oh, that tank has a couple of moves on him, honey. Oh, it is called a magic machine. Soul Yanker. At least it's not a nipple. Nipple, nipple Yanker? Isn't that the other version of that enemy? Soul Yanker. That sounds a lot more appropriate, don't you think? Anywho. Althena, lend me your power! You're just wondering where all the homies went? It's DoorDash Master Link! Hey, Funky, how's it going? Funky, you, you make fun of me, but who's the one doing something with his extra time instead of just whacking off? I mean, I'm not saying you're whacking off. You, there's not really need for you to whack off. But, like, um, I mean, the great thing is, like, literally in between orders, I can just come back to my apartment and just do whatever. Because, like, because my town is so small, um, it's only like a two mile like drive to like get to like basically any house unless it's out in the country. And so it's like like you're gonna pay me five dollars to, to drive two miles? Sure, I'll do that. Fuck it, you know? what you spend your extra time doing. Oh, you've been sick this week? That sucks. I just figured. I mean, I know you're kind of on vacation, quote-unquote. So that's why uh, I didn't think you were streaming. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm at the end of the game, Funky. I'm kind of sad, to be honest. Kind of sad, but you were pretty much right. Like, uh, I think you said I'd be, like, level 40 or something. I'm basically there. I mean, the only good part is, um, you know, there is Lunar 2, which I'll get to at some point. Definitely before the end of the year. For sure. I'm trying to remember how I took these guys out. You know what? I know this flash cut thing takes out the soul yankers, but not these tanky dudes, the magic generators or whatever they're called. 
Take him down, Alex. Oh shit, they actually, they're so tanky, they actually survive all that shit. Damn it. I fucked up! I fucked up! Six and Sunday, basically. Your throat is still ass. Every dry throat cough. Nasty, dude. Dragon's been offline for a while. I guess his job has been demanding. Yeah, I think so. Frog. Sounds like COVID monkey. But yeah, you close. You should finish tonight, unless you bitch out like a little pussy. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt if you got... If you got a different... Uh, what do they call it this season? Delta variant or what have you? But yeah, the, the biggest piece of advice when you're door dashing is try to eat food before you deliver food. Because, like, holy shit, when I was first uh, door dashing in, like, uh, in Lima, like in the middle of, of a Saturday, it's like, holy shit, like, shit was crazy. I'm trying to think where I went. Uh, really, I should have started just door dashing in my town, not not Lima. I don't even want to imagine how much door dashing would be in like a place like Fort Wayne or fucking Chicago or Detroit or anything like that. That'd be fucking insane. Um, but like, let's see. I was getting orders from like Auntie Anne's pretzels. I was getting orders from a uh, uh, bento box place. It was like what, what are those? kind of Chinese places, you know, where they make a bento box. Um, I went to a Chipotle, which is fucking gross. I hate Chipotle. But, uh, you know, what they're for delivery. I went to Five Guys. That was actually kind of nice. I like Five Guys. Um, where else? Where else? I went to two different Lee's Chickens in, um, in Lima. Uh, we're trying to remember. Uh, I went to uh, I went to a Baskin Robbins, and I went to I think a Burger King. Like it was the same order, like it was it was for the same person, but like the the girl wanted a Baskin Robbins milkshake as well as the actual food itself. Like I was just like okay whatever. Had. It was just, it was nuts. Like, eight fucking different restaurants, flavors, scents in my, uh, in my car. It was, it was crazy. But yeah, Saturday I did make quite a lot. What, what was my, what was my pain this Saturday? Let me see. Oh, wow, it's even saying very busy. They actually have a promo going on right now? Huh. Well, too bad I'm fucking streaming. I imagine there will be a promo um, Friday night, though. But yeah, let me look at what I made that, that first Saturday. Um, it looks like... Let's see, 34 plus 30, that's 64 plus 17, that's... Like ninety dollars. That's what I made that Saturday. You don't have a White Castle around there? Fuck no, Frog. I wish we did. You joke? You kidding me? But are like one, <laughs> like literally the only like three White Castles in Indiana for reference is in um, is basically all outside of Indianapolis capital. Now, the closest White Castle, I think, in Ohio, other than, like, maybe around where uh, Funky and Maru are, um, I would say I'd have to go to Dayton to get a White Castle in Ohio, I guess. 
this. Door dashing in Chicago or Detroit is dangerous as fuck. I mean, yeah, it probably is. For one side of the game, too loud? Really, Frog? Okay, let me lower it a bit. I think that's literally the first time you've complained about this game volume being too high. Alright, you, you sure your hearing's not, like, gone bad or something, Frog? Go ahead and use that. Use that lightning thing. If I can take down at least one of them with my two mages, that's fine. By the power of Athena. Take down that thing. Check this out. Oh yeah, I started kind of late. I don't know if I'll actually beat this game tonight. I mean, I, I still gotta work tomorrow, you know. So like, I, I don't want to stay up until midnight if I can help it. Although, uh, shit, I, I don't even think, I think I'm going to be the only one in the marketing, um, department actually at work tomorrow. The rest of them like to work from home, so. At least, uh, on Friday. Yeah, hopefully when my, uh, um, uh, hopefully when my supervisor comes back from her maternity leave here in the next couple weeks, uh, I'll be allowed to work from home one or two days out of the week. Because that's been really kind of cheesing me off. Uh. Go ahead and do that, do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You attack that instead. Lightning. Fire. Do that. Kill everyone. If you have a By chance. Until everything dies. Check this out. Althena, lend me your lend power. Me your power. <laughs> well, it was louder than my voice. Well. Say. Oh, I had like probably the worst fucking sweet tea I've ever had in my life from the when I was at the. I actually ended up getting um Taco Bell like after I delivered some Taco Bell. Or no, actually I delivered some Subway and then I got some Taco Bell. But I did have a Taco Bell like DoorDash earlier today. And like I I don't know what they do. I don't know what how they brew it or, or what. I, I maybe they brew it with cat piss or something. But uh. Every time I've gotten sweet tea out of Taco Bell, it's been dog shit. No idea why. What the fuck is this thing? Is that a foot? That looks like a foot. There's some kind of... What? Whatever. I don't understand this shit. Then why do you keep getting it? Hello? Well, so since I lived in, um... In Indiana, the couple times I got it from the Taco Bell there, sweet tea. Um, first, I thought, oh, they just had a bad batch, you know, whatever. Second time, I realized, hey, I think just this location has shit sweet tea. So I stopped getting it at the Taco Bell in, uh, in my town in Indiana. Uh, and then when I got here, I, I never had the sweet tea at McDonald's until, uh, or the sweet tea at uh, the Taco Bell here, literally until just like, you know, three hours ago. I'm like, okay, the sweet tea is shit everywhere. Fuck this shit. So I, I, I finally learned my lesson, guys. Bro, someone forgot the story of this game? You don't know whose leg that is? Uh... Something related to the Vile Tribe, I would assume. I mean, you're probably gonna make fun of me now, Funky. 
It's a big red leg. Yeah. I mean, I forget things, Funky. You have to understand. <laughs> Funky's just probably at his desk like, uh, oh, this guy's such a fucking moron. Oh, uh, Funky, has Dragon been sending you porn this week like he has me? Like, am I the only one getting his, his porn? Like, he just, he keeps on sending me porn and I'm just like, okay. The second or third time I was like, is this what you do when Morrow and Funky aren't active? Like, you just decide to send me porn? He's like, yeah, basically. The hell is this shit? I just got a outfit. St. Clobes, the fabric of our lives, and that adorable. Yeah, it's definitely for Jessica here. That's definitely better. A bit more defense, more magic endurance. Yeah, put that shit on. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Frog. Did I... <laughs> I think I might be on drugs from that that bad sweet tea I had, guys. I, I think uh, they might have put something in there to fuck me up. I laugh like an old fucking codger. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, I was saying Dragon keeps sending me porn, not Frog. I have no idea why I said Frog's name. I... <laughs> Frog sending me... <laughs> Frog sending me porn. That'd be a fucking laugh. But yeah, Dragon's been sending me corn. Remember how there were four big-ass dragons that fucking got captured? Oh, they... Well, one of them doesn't even have a body anymore, though, Funky. Like, I destroyed the... What was it? The Black Dragon's body? I killed it. Like, its spirit was captured by Galleon. So is that is that what you mean? Those legs are the spirits of the dragons that he captured. Well, at least one's a spirit. Like I know for one, I know for certain I killed that black dragon's. Uh, I destroyed his body in the battle. I mean, I didn't think he would like literally use the power of the dragons to lift up a heavy fucking fortress. I didn't think he was doing it for that. I thought he just kind of absorbed the dragon's essences, like, within him, you know? Like, I didn't know he was going to use them as fucking pack mules, essentially. to Jessica. Shake that ass for me, too. At least until we save Luna. So, yeah. Waifu tier list, guys. If you didn't know. Um, it goes Mia and then Luna and then Jessica. And then um, uh, that, that one girl who's Tempest's sister. She's fourth tier waifu. That's how that that them's the breaks, guys. Them the breaks. So you're saying Kelly doesn't have a legacy stand on? Dude, he captured them. 
That's why their body. That's why their body wasn't there. He fucking kill them. Whatever, Funky. Whatever. Maybe my mind will make it make sense in Lunar 2. Which I'd imagine you and Frogger are looking forward to. I don't know, is it objectively a better game, or do, do just people, like, have, like, certain nitpicks that, that divide, you know, the two games? Guess we'll find out. Uh, no shit, I actually, I was in a retro game shop, um, it was the same shop I actually bought Goof Troop from, Funky. Still don't know when we're doing that, maybe in, like, November or whatever, I don't know. Um, but I actually saw a copy of Lunar 2 in, like, the, the glass case, you know? Uh, it was just, like, it, it wasn't the, the box or anything of the complete edition. Like, just the bare game itself in, like, a kind of cracked jeweled case motherfuckers wanted $80 for it and I was like holy shit okay that makes me feel good on my purchasing decision when I bought these two I, I bought both of these for $80 in their semi-complete state so I, I guess I ended up doing uh, well in the end uh, I can't seem to concentrate I fucking suck hold on Attack you. Attack you. Attack you. Attack you. Attack you. By the power of Athena. Check this out. That was a pretty good critical there. Hit a hundred. Like a fucking beast. Your favorite is one of the chicks from Lunar 2? Alright. Guess we'll, uh... We'll see if she's uh, worthy or not. Do you remember her name by chance, Frog? Or, I mean, you don't have to tell me. Probably do this. Probably just need to throw a flavor at that and just slash, slash this guy apart. Should be all good. is more polished. You know her name, but you don't want to spoil anything? Alright, that's fine. Oh, shit. I've just seen if there's anything up there. No need to track me down like some kind of predator. Giggity. Um, did we go through this? Teleporter, I guess. If that's what you want to call it. I'm not even sure where the fuck I'm going, people. you will say is that she's blonde and very cute. Okay. So, she's like Jessica, only uh, doesn't have like masculine energy up the ass. Sounds like an improvement. The hell are these guys called? Death armors. Uh, just... Actually, you know what? Use that lightning there. That flame circle, fuck it. By the power of Athena. Did 
Check this out. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I guess you're weak against lightning, really. Ah, damn. I have no idea what this shit goes to. Uh, yeah, probably don't expect me to be able to to grab every uh, grab every item here, guys. Because at this point, like it would be nice, but well. Maybe it is pretty worthwhile to grab all the necessary items. I don't want to fight everything, though. Preferably. Because this is already going to be a bitch and I have to get through all this. Oh, I see a chest there. I kind of want it. I want it! I want it! Silver light? I mean, that'll be useful. Funky found the girl annoying, actually. Okay. Huh. It's kind of difficult for Funky to be annoyed by a character, so I'm kind of curious who that could actually be. Another chest here. Stone bracelet, that sounds fucking sexy. Oh, Funky, if you're there, I'm very disappointed in this game for not allowing me to see uh, softcore hentai. Because when I finally went to that uh, female spring or whatever, um, I was on disc two, and it would not let me uh, do anything because it gave me some bullshit reason like, oh, because Galleon has appeared here, the springs have gone to shit or whatever. So I was like, the game sucks. Zero out of a million. I, I kind of figured that'd be for Nash. Yeah, a little bit more defensive wisdom. Put that shit on. Of course, we gotta fight this bozo here. Shit, Thunderbomb does 152 to everyone. It's pretty good for such a low-tier spell. I mean, goddamn. Thunderbomb, we've been having that since the very start of the game, pretty much, when we got Nash. That's right, kill all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh. Oh, Nash gained a level. Nice, nice. Go find the list of bromides as a consolation prize. Oh. Shit. I thought I could avoid that dude. My bad. Was it my fault? She made me touch her there! Okay, so more thunder bombs. I mean, how, how many bromides are in the game? That's question one. Question two is... Check um, this out. Uh, can I even get them now that I'm on disc 2? It's kind of doubtful. You would say yes. I I'm probably for the, um... For 
the for the like special cutscene you see with um you know for the spring. Probably what I'll end up doing is just looking up fucking Funky's <laughs> Funky. I'll look up Funky's Let's Play of the Lunar and just watch it from there. Cause I know he did that because he's a fucking pervert and a completionist. Cause there's no fucking way that I'm gonna grind my fucking ass off trying to squeeze my way through that forest in disc one. That's not happening. Even even after even when I was a kid, there's no way I would I would do that. Like like say if I played this game, you know, when I was like nine or whatever. Like that that that's just stupid. Fuck that. I'm freaking thirsty. Do I have some unsweet tea in my fridge? I think I do. I should grab some. Gotta take care of take care of these tango ones. Apparently, I guess let's use a flash cut then on them. No idea if they're weak against uh, lightning or anything, but we'll find out. Man, these guys are fucking tough. And have a bed. Got an angel's, an angel's tear, that's neat. There are 13 bromides? Fuck me. I hope none aren't, uh, like, randomly given to you from, like, an enemy encounter or something, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this X enemy has a, you know, 0 point something percent chance to drop bromide. Grindery bowels. Gotta love the name of that. Just making sure there's not a... Eh, eh. Up. Another angel ring? Holy shit, I have five angel rings now, guys. So I have one for every party member, I guess. That must mean that must mean I'm some kind of badass now. What do you, what do you guys think? Am I, am I some kind of badass? I mean, you gotta admit that's kind of neat, anyway. So I essentially get two lives for uh, every every party member in this final in this final confrontation. also find the bromides on YouTube. I mean, yeah, I figured there'd be some fucking, there'd be some kind of fucking hardcore nerd that would make a, like a compilation of uh, finding all the bromides, you know. Let's move some of this shit on Nash to, to Null here. Also have the bath scenes on YouTube, maybe. But like I just said, I can just watch Funky's YouTube video of his let's play for this game. Kind of an old let's play, actually. Like it, it's so old, there's still like an LP chat for it on on Discord. I actually saw it like a week or so ago, and I started chatting in it, I'm talking to no one essentially though, because that shit is dead as fuck. Do I go down that tube or that tube?
Wreck, bitch. <laughs> There's more awesome music in Lunar 2. Interesting. I was gonna cut me off. Oh, a bunch of these soul yankers. In that case, I'm definitely gonna use flash cut on them. For show. Sure. Actually, I might as well defend with everybody. Since I know Alex can just cut them all up at once. It's his turn immediately, pretty much. Yeah, level 41, bitch. And pretty much everybody else but Nash is probably going to get that level too. Yeah. Me and Jessica. Oh, no. Probably next, uh... Probably next encounter I'll get, uh... What's his nuts up? Where does this pipe go then? Oh, this is a one way? Oh, that's fucking lame sauce, bro. That's fucking lame. Pretty sure I made a wrong turn, like that one movie. Um, okay, just. Shit, you don't have a uh, Thunderbolt anymore. I guess use Thunder Bomb, at least try to hit a couple of things. Thunder Bomb on you. By the power of Athena. Check this out. I don't know why, but these like floating mechanical things, they kind of remind me of Earthbound. I don't really know why. Like maybe it's some, maybe it's like some kind of monster like uh, Gigas would, would create in that series, you know? Or in Earthbound, I mean. Gigas is only in Mother 2, to my knowledge. Or maybe it's in Mother 1, I, I don't know, I've never really played much of that game. 
mostly because it's pretty much just an inferior version of of, of Mother 2. One day I should probably stream it, though. I mean, I'm sure it's a pretty interesting NES game. Or I guess Famicom game, technically. Oh, uh, so anyone who's a fan of the Tales series on, um... On Steam right now, they're actually having, like, a pretty big discount on, uh, like, four different Tales games. Well, actually, five. Wait, did I have Kyle use his special there? I might have done something weird. Whatever. Kyle leveled up. Nice. But yeah, on Steam, they had, uh, Tales of Arise for, I think, $23 or something. Um... Uh, they had like four of the Tales games for five bucks on Steam. I think it was Symphonia, uh, Zestiria, Vesperia, and Berseria. All those four I saw on Steam were five dollars right now. That's pretty damn good. Problem is I pretty much have all those games on Steam or on my PS4, so it doesn't really matter to me. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal. I don't know why they'd be having such a big discount for those games. I can only predict that they're either celebrating some kind of anniversary, or soon they're gonna be making a, uh, like a compilation of a bunch of Tales games, like on one disc or something. Because they've kind of done something like that before. Like with uh, Tales of Symphonia and Dawn of the New World. Like they packaged those two together upon a time. Man, I'm fucking low on MP and shit now. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? At least I have some of these... Uh, I mean, I have a decent amount of silver lights, but it's like... This would probably be the time to use those guys. This is the, the end part of the game. Uh, more of these fucking things, dude. Um, use the flash cut again. Screw it. I just... I Mia, mean, yeah, since you have a bunch of MP anyway, you, you might as well just use your flame ball, bomb, flame bombs or whatever. You just hit the fucking tank, guys. I kind of hope we're almost through with this maze, but I kind of doubt it. I feel like there's going to be like one of those intermediate bosses, you know what I mean? Where it's like, oh, you've only made it halfway, but now you're going to fight me. Oh, well, I mean, isn't that what Zenobia is all about? I mean, I, I would expect we're going to fight that bitch before we fight Galleon. So... Okay, two tunnels. Where the fuck do they go? Oh, they, they just spit me out here? Did, this, did that just loop me back to where I was? Uh, 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 uh. I was like, avoid the tanks, avoid the tanks, bro. Avoid them. I'm trying to kind of get them to, like, not run over me. Like that, yeah. Run, 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 run. Okay, where's this go? Oh. Cool. We're at a plot point. I'm 
guessing that's the white dragon. Alex, it's horrible. I thought the white dragon was dead. Alex, what has Galleon done to him? You see, even Jessica thought the dragons were dead, Funky. Are you saying are you saying Jessica Jessica is a fucking retard? Is that what you're saying, Funky? I'm sure he's done this to all the dragons. Galleon is drawing upon the power of the dragons to fuel the grindery. He's sucking the life out of them. It's unbearable to even look at this, but I'm going to keep looking at it anyway. What a sick little bastard. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Galleon has turned the dragons born to protect all Athena against her. How can we possibly fight an evil drawing in this kind of power? How can we? Don't you mean how can't we? You've all seen the horrors that Galleon has inflicted on our world. Even this latest atrocity should only strengthen your resolve to defeat him. You're right, Nash, for once. We have to, f we have to stop this Cretan. We have to stop him now. Let's go, Alex. Yeah, whatever. Be right back and eat a drink. You know what? I think I will see if I have, uh, like an unsweet tea or something in my fridge. Or just water. Alright, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I lucked out. S turns out I, I still have a couple of propel waters. So that's nice. Normally great flavor, which isn't my favorite, but it's not the worst. like a I think it's like a black like a black blackberry flavor or something that was, that was the worst propel water I've had my favorite's probably kiwi strawberry one though or some something something like I know it had a green label I don't remember the name Yeah, propel water is pretty decent. Uh, let's see. Yeah, probably do the same flash cut thing again. Just try to just deal with their shit, I guess. At least take down one of these tanks this turn, please. Well, I like slices up those guys in the back. hard. Kind of surprised, well, I was about to say, I'm kind of surprised I have a decent amount of viewers tonight, but I mean, nobody else is really streaming. That's a part of Funky's, uh, Funky's group, Morrow's group, or Dragon's group, so... Got an insane shield? That looks fucking dope. I mean, I, I would guess we, that's only good for uh, Kyle, right? Yeah. Legendary protection. Well, hell yeah. If only he had that from when he was fucking Jessica. Three more. 
more defense. I mean, better than... Oh, it's, that, it's even better than the Dark Shield. I mean, I, I, I was thinking that the Dark Equipment was, like, his best shit. Apparently not. Maybe he gets an insane equipment set here. I don't know. If so, we're probably already missing some pieces of it. Where the hell are we now? Oh, this is a... I guess this is like a rest area? That's cool. But what is this place, Alex? It looks like a park. In the heart of the grindery? It doesn't make any sense. It has to be a trap, Kyle. Doesn't it? Probably. I love flowers, plants, and trees. I care for them here to please Emperor Galleon. Galleon likes flowers? The magic emperor who's trying to take over the world? Was he some kind of fucking pussy? Probably. I keep out of Emperor Galleon's private affairs, so I don't know what's happening outside the garden. But Emperor Galleon seems to be under a huge amount of stress lately. I think his lust for power has enslaved his soul. I think you've hit upon the sad truth. Who cares? We're still gonna kill him. That's just how it is. Oh, Luna, huh? Yes, there's a very nice girl called Luna being held in the palace. Emperor Galleon likes pixies, so he had the vile tribe capture us for his garden. It's beautiful and peaceful here, but it's still a prison. That's right, no matter how beautiful Galleon makes it here, you'll st you're still prisoners. Or well, at least we can rope our own statue all thing up. Mm, feels so good. Yeah, this garden is pretty cool. I, I, I am glad that they at least gave, like, kind of a halfway point here. Huh, it's called My Secret Garden, this area. Nice little, nice little reference to that, uh, book. So happy Emperor Galleon invited you to join us here. Are you really that far off in l land? Uh, reality check, he wants to kill us! Oh, in La La Land. That's what he was talking about. Zenobia is very cruel. We all chef at her wicked manner. But Galleon must see something in her. He seems to enjoy her company. As evil as Galleon has become, that's not really saying much. I mean, he probably looks at her just with lustful eyes. I mean, have you seen how she dresses? Fucking... <laughs> oh, the master didn't mention that we would have new visitors today. I tended this garden for him. He finds nothing more beautiful than a towering tree or a fragrant flower. I remember Galleon giving me flowers when I was just a little girl. The Galleon you knew as a, ma as a child is dead, Mia. He's the magic emperor now. Yeah, whatever. Have you come to beg Galleon to spare your miserable lives? That's a good attitude. Won't be long until the magic emperor rules the world. With a grindery as its magnificent centerpiece. We ain't here to beg for anything. We're here to bring this monstrosity crashing down around Galleon's ugly mug. Yeah, what you said. Alright, enough of that bullshit. We're setting up the tower even more. Man, shit, he gets even more fucking spastic here. Like, look at, look at all the energy flowing around in the ground, and then the enemies are, like, all fucking doing a jig and shit. What else is gonna happen? Is there gonna be a fucking fucking flash mob? Is there gonna be like a guy with like a trench coat coming up to me and he's like, "Hey, you need some items?" And he just whips out his dick or something. I don't know. I'm getting, getting a little bit too, getting a little bit too weird, guys. Sorry. Um, are there? Oh, I was about to say, what are the? Like, I could fight them all to get more experience, but I... It's like, I'd rather just beat the game, you know what I mean? If I can, I'd rather just beat the game. <laughs> Frog. I suspect that has already happened to you since you mentioned it. No, it hasn't happened to me. But I've seen... 
I've seen pieces of media where shit like that did happen. What the hell are these things called? Ar Archmage? Fuck. And one of them's pointing at me like he's fucking possessed. Um, I'm gonna assume Flash Cut wipes these guys out, but we'll see. Okay, so they're resistant against magic a lot, okay. Okay, Flash Cut does basically wipe them out, good. Good. Fuck me. I mean, I'll... Like, I feel like he's close, but at the same time, I'm probably going to be facing one or two bosses before Galleon, so... What the fuck are those things? Arrowfish? Those things look fucking goofy. Total fucking chat and just wipe those guys out with uh, this move. A dick. Oh wow, that did a pretty good amount of damage. This should finish him off, I guess. Basically a floating mechanical fish with like a bow like hovering in front of it. How the fuck do I get to the next level? Oh, I see. This this inner thing. I gotcha. Oh, beast chasing me down, you fuck. You stupid bitch. Pleaser? Those things look deadly as fuck. Let's maybe not get killed by them, maybe. You know, they already look like they're charging up in a fucking spin dash to kill me. That should be yeah. good. Cause I <laughs> I'll bet you those things when they were darn when they were when they were done like charging up and they were gonna hit me, they were probably gonna bounce between all my characters. showed up out of fucking nowhere. Well, at least the one good thing about this, like, kind of middle point is if I'm not able to do this tonight, um, you know, I could, one, grind here, or two, just, well, mainly just grind here. just in case they survive uh, the onslaught. Check this out. Ooh. 
Yeah, grinding in the grindery. Yeah, no shit. Pretty appropriate, isn't it? Uh, uh, no shit. When I first heard of the word of the, you know, the the name of this thing, the grindery, I just think of like one of those big grinders that like that butchers would like put their meat into. You know what I mean? Like to make like, you know what I mean? Like ground beef, like for patties. That's what I think of when I hear the grindery. Maybe that's just because I'm a fat ass, though. I don't know. The hell are those guys with little space guns? They're kind of adorable. I bet they're pretty deadly, though. Uh, let's, let's play it safe. Just use Thunder Thrust or whatever. Check this out. Alan is playing something on Steam. It just popped up in the corner. Shit, one's still alive. No, no. No, he's dead. He's dead. Dead, Jim. Bandana probably wasn't even worth really grabbing, but whatever. Spurs magic. Does it lower his arrogance? Because if so, I think he really needs to put that on too. No, I, I'd say Nash, his arrogance kind of faded away, faded away once uh, he became a traitor and all that. You know what I mean? But well, once he came back. From being a traitor, I suppose. I mean, I, I guess you would be pretty arrogant to to betray your, uh, your party member, wouldn't you? I uh, yeah, whatever. Imagine arrogance was actually a stat. That'd be a pretty fucking funny stat. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a stat for that in fucking um. Uh, what, what, what's that Toby Fox game called? Delta Room that he's working on or whatever. Maybe that's a stat. Like even though I w I wasn't really a fan. Uh, well, I I did not love. Uh, I did not love uh, Undertale. I did not love the game. Um, but like one thing I always kind of chuckle about is the EXP. Is stands for execution points. <laughs> I always thought that was fucking hilarious. Like that was probably the best joke of the whole game. Probably one of the worst jokes of the whole game is um, it didn't happen super super often, but like you'd go up to an object and you'd like hit a button to interact with it or whatever. Like, 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 say you went to a rock and you're trying to like move it or whatever. Like, it it would move, and then it'd like move back an inch, and then it'd move a little bit further, and then it'd move back, and then it'd like talk to you. It's just like, just fucking move, bro. Like, it's it's almost like the game thinks it's too fucking funny for its own good. At some points, I just, you know what I mean? It, that that shit's that shit was getting annoying. Uh, oh, did you use Flamaria? Who gives a shit? I'll probably have to be spamming, uh, spamming a Starlight or something. And if I could grind them from this actual level, that'd be great. Or from this dungeon. Like, I, I feel like there'd be a decent way to grind up either the, uh, the Starlights or the Silver Lights in this final area. Actually, if you give me a sec, I'm gonna plug in my phone.
imagine Simp was a character class too. Isn't there a game called Simp? Like a video game? Or no, I think there's a game called Cucked. Or Cuck. Or Cuckery. I think that's called, that's the name of, video, of a video game. Simp City! <laughs> It sounds like something you'd see, like, in, um... It, that sounds like something you'd see in, like, a parody of, like, a... Uh, like a poster in, like, a in like a GTA game or whatever. Well, I, I guess you wouldn't really know what I'm talking about, Frog. Um, but in in GTA, they, they tend to make kind of, like, uh... They tend to poke fun at, at certain, like, facets of, like, uh... Of, like, Western culture. Like, a good example of that is, I think in San Andreas, there's, um, they have a restaurant called Cluckin' Bell, and they actually have a, a jingle that goes with Cluckin' Bell. I think it's supposed to be, like, a, it's supposed to be, like, KFC and, and, I guess, like, Taco Bell, like, mixed together. But, like, part of the jingle, they said, do you smell that shitty smell? Now it's time for Cluckin' Bell. Like, because they know, like, you know, fast food is fucking terrible and not the best. How do I want to take these guys down? Uh, I don't want to have to give Alex a bunch of... Use the thunder thrust, I guess. Fuck it. because that always does a shit ton of damage anyway. By the power of Athena. Check this out. I I, I kind of wish in the game that they had like health bars above enemies. Oh, that probably sounds kind of stupid. Cause I can think of tons of games where that's not a mechanic at all. That's just forty-one two. Nice, nice. Yeah, I figured I have to take down these winged guys here. Okay, two of those and two of the arch mages. Bomb angels, that's what they're called. Fuck, we better take those guys down. Lickety split them. Let's take down that with explosion staff. Thunder bomb there. Flame circle there. Who gives a shit? You just attack. Kill them both, please. Good. Now, is this chest even remotely worth it? Insane helmet? Okay, yeah, so... Evidently, there is an insane uh, equipment set for uh, Kyle. Okay. Crazy cranium head. No, I'm sorry. Crazy cran cranium can. I thought they said head instead of can at the end of that. Yeah, put on that fucking helmet. Yeah, there must have been a dark helmet. I never got it for, for Kyle. Oh fucking well. Uh, 
don't know, if I had to guess, I, I doubt we're gonna find him his, uh, insane armor and insane sword before the end of this dungeon. I'm just, just predicting that. Fuck it, let's give this silver light to Alex here, I guess. Nash doesn't say anything other than, check this out! Do you, you did get the dark helmet? Did you not? No, not for Kyle. I, I must, uh, I must have skipped it. I got all the other shit for his, uh, for his dark set, though. Got the dark helmet, the dark shield, the dark arm, and the dark sword. Oh well. It's whatever. Alright. Uh, no, I, I had the holy helmet on. I'm sorry, I misspoke. But I mean, it's, it's whatever. Okay, a bunch of these archmages here. Uh, flash cut should wipe them out pretty swiftly. Let's just throw a thunder bomb up there. For good measure, and Mia can smack that guy down there. And you can just defend and not really do much. Because there's no reason Check these guys out. shouldn't die. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I kind of wonder, um... Ooh, got a starlight. I kind of wonder what I'm, what I'm, I'm going to be streaming. Like, if I'm going to beat this game, like, you know, today or tomorrow or whatever. Oh, shit. I mean, maybe I could beat this game Saturday morning if I don't do it in the next, like, 45 minutes, but I really don't think that's going to happen. Bunch of these fucking guys, dude, man. Piss off with all these fuckers. Like, eat a dick. I actually consider going to Van Wert to try to do DoorDash tomorrow. Because, like, there's that. It seems like there's a lot of hot spots that appear around Van Wert area. You know, like around 8 39 ish. Oh, I, I think I just skipped over a thing there. Whatever. Me getting to level. Nice. Just getting to level. Nice. But like the problem would, would what would happen is like since my area I'm like 10 or 15 miles away from those hot spots so I'd have to go over there to like pick up the food or whatever and then deliver to wherever all the way in Van Wert but then I'd, I'd have to drive back to my town so it's like well either I stay there maybe for two or three hours but it's like, well, what the fuck would I do in between DoorDash orders? I mean, uh, I think I have a relative in Van Wert I could visit, but you know what I mean? Like, what else? I mean, I could, I could take my Switch and just, uh, I don't know, play Smash Brothers? I don't know. Since I fucking hate the the handheld mode of, of my Switch, I, I'd, I'd probably just bring like a 3DS or something. Because I think I still have some games I could play on it. Is that not le- is that a dead end over there? I can't really tell. Shit, that guy's got me trapped. Oops. I fucked up. I fucked up!
trying to think. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to try to. I think I'm gonna just. I think I'm gonna have to. I hate that I can't talk very well. I think I'm gonna have a goal of making forty-five dollars tomorrow night from DoorDash. I think that's a decent goal. Forty-two. You know, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. I'm that number now. Yeah, I was almost positive this was a dead end here. Okay. I kind of want to see what that chest is, but... I'm going to have to fuck around with all this shit. We're in the grindery quarters here, by the way. Alright, that. No offense, but that doesn't sound like a lot of money for the time and effort. Uh, I mean, depends. Well, again, I'll have to do calculations. I mean, I'll know for sure if, if this is a viable thing to do after like a month or so. Because like ideally, I'd like to make net, like net profit of like $15 an hour um, for less than 20 hours of like work quote unquote a week although another component is a uh, frog it's like <laughs> if someone was driving say for five hours in New York City and they only made $45 they'd probably be better off doing literally anything else Hell, uh, hell, you'd probably make more as a fucking, um, uh, as a fucking valet or a parking meter, you know what I mean, checker or whatever they call it. So around 300 a week. Um, that's what it seems like is, like, the best reason, or, it seems realistic to make 300 a, a week door dashing. During the weekdays, it would just be like pretty much in my actual town. And then Saturday, I'd probably go to, to Lima, which is somewhat a big city. I mean, not relatively to you. Okay, Lima's only about like 20,000 people. That's That ain't shit for probably what you're used to, Frog. That ain't shit. But like the only other actual big city is in is in Fort Wayne it is is in Indiana. That's about a quarter of a million population. Like if I if I lived in Fort Wayne, I'd I'd probably do DoorDash. The north side of town. Cause uh South Fort Wayne is actually uh not not the best. It's not the best. I, uh, so tired of having to deal with these guys. I just and yeah, use that Sonic Riser. That always does a shit ton of damage anyway. fish thing there. There you go. Your childhood home town in Connecticut is about 29k people and that's a small town. Then the town I live in is, is basically a blip in comparison to that because my the town I'm in isn't even 10,000. At least my hometown in Indiana that was like uh, 12k or so people. Something like that.
I don't want to... I guess I have to fight the beast. Fuck. I didn't really want to. I don't know. Uh, nobody even knows that I DoorDash except for uh, my coworkers. I I'm, I'm kind of curious how my uh, how my mom and, and sister will react to it when I when I tell them about it. They'll probably hate it because they they never seem to like any ideas that I have. Like like they are opposed uh, to when I said uh, I wanted to get a a duplex and and maybe rent out half of it. They turned that down. They're probably gonna turn down this DoorDash shit. Hell, I think they even kind of turned down, um, well, uh, well, no, no, they, they actually didn't turn it down. I guess they were just kind of sad, like, when I, I moved here to begin with to, you know, to get this job. I didn't say they, they weren't opposed to it, they just, uh, weren't particularly happy about it. But I mean, it, I mean, it could be way worse. I could have moved to fucking northern Michigan or something like that. Have my ass freezing off, freezing off right now, you know? Can I? Yeah, get that. By the power of Athena. I don't remember how many, how much damage these uh, reserves can take. Check this that out. thunder cunt thrust there. Okay, take down those guys. Ah, oh, shit. At least one of them is taken down. Oh, that was a waste of a flash cut. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he does bounce on everyone. Like, he's Sonic the Hedgehog and shit. That's fucking ass. Ass. Last town you lived in Connecticut was only about 2000 back in 1987 but now now it is barely 2.2k so gained like 10% that's lovely got a phantom ribbon i'm assuming that's for mia Yep. Put on this cute little ribbon. It'll apparently make you some kind of a badass. It's a haunted headpiece? Okay. Somehow it boosts your defense and wisdom. Great. Shame you can't wear that adorable scrunchie anymore, but fuck it. Fucking worthless. But yeah, the, the other thing, Frog, is like, with my full-time job, there's there's not a whole lot of things that are as flexible, and that actually will, will pay decent, like, in my town or immediate area. Like, like, you know what I mean? Because, like, I don't really think I could realistically... Okay, so I I work 8, get off at 5, roughly, right? So, if I would do an 8-hour shift, say at, like, 5.30, okay? I'd be doing that until, uh... What is that, 11.30? If they even allow that. But, like, certain businesses, like, they don't do, like, half-hour kind of instances. Like, you know what I mean? Like the fast food places in like the uh, the chief supermarket in town. I looked it up. I believe uh, the thing I saw for that it starts at like eleven or so dollars an hour. Oh, we're we actually doing something here, Alex. It's a dead end. Move over now. Let me check this out. I'll just use the patent thieves guild method to. Oh, huh? there's no keyhole. Unfortunately, not. It's been sealed by a magic more powerful than any mechanical lock. Aw, oh, man! Isn't there anything around here we can't break through with brute force? I know Luna's behind this door, Alex. I can feel it. But if we can't open it, we have to find another way inside. 
There is no other way. This is the solitary path to the inner sanctum of the Magic Emperor. Only by passing through this door will you confront your destiny. Who's that? Oh, that one bitch. She, why does she look like she has a bitch look on her? Like she's like disgusted or something. You're... Facia. You, you're hurt. Let me use my magic to heal you. There's no time for that, dear child. There's only time for this. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Might as well have said bibbidi bobbidi do it boo I know what lies before you. I pray you are strong enough to face it. I'm confused. Why are you helping us, Facia? And why now? I believed in Galleon. I thought he would give us what we had always desired. A chance to leave our cold, dead world behind forever. And start anew in a place of hope and light. So you were seduced by Galleon's promises. No, it wasn't that. Galleon never promised us anything. He merely approached the Vile Tribe and commanded us to do his bidding. We obeyed. You must understand, for all our existence, the Vile Tribe has been shunned and ignored. Better say, bro. I mean, I did just a minute ago. Like, before down this hall. It, I'm sure I'll get wiped out, so... Althena herself exiled us to the, end of, to the edge of her world. For men such as Galleon to acknowledge us, must less, much less ask for our assistance. We were honored and humbled. We followed his commands without hesitation, and we even sucked his dick. At the same time. And I start to imagine the Vile Tribe's place in Galleon's brave new world. But I was wrong. Galleon never intended, intended to include us in anything. He simply used us, and now that his true aim is within reach... Shame on you, sister! I can't believe you'd sink so low as to betray your master and your tribe. But then you never were able to keep a secret. Zenobia, it's too late for us to undo the evil acts we committed in Galleon's name. But we can help Alex and his friends to stop him. Silence, sister! But you must listen. The only one who is, who is who truly ever cared about us was Althena. Don't you see? That's why she did what she did 15 years ago. I did not ask for your meandering, meandering opinions. I commanded your silence! Did you do not hold your tongue over this business here until our business here is concluded, I shall be forced to sever our to sever to sever our family bonds in a most uncomfortable manner. I only see suffering in your future, dear sister. It's a pity you cast your lot in with the accursed dragon master. Alex, you are the only one with the strength to defeat Galleon. But you must make your way to him in haste. Faisha! My fate is of little consequence. Go quickly now! Galleon's strength grows with each moment. Soon he shall achieve invincibility. Okay. Oh, it actually lets me save right here? Well, that's cool. Um... I kind of feel like going in a different spot, honestly. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to the first file here, Might's Tower. I know where it says Might. I th I'm pretty sure that's still disc one. I'm pretty sure. Not that it really matters. Yeah, time to sing, Go, Go, Power Rangers! Yeah, no joke. No joke. Alright, it actually gives me a chance, which is good. Uh, I better use a bunch of these starlights, I guess, to get the MP. Uh, I have some healing nuts to give to some people, so there's, there's that, too. still have shit like this holy bow here. Give me that, give me that. Keep the angel's tear. Probably keep the holy water. I should probably give everybody a holy water. I 
Oh, wait, I... Ch shit, yeah, I should give that, um... Uh, everyone a life rank, too. I forgot about that. I do have one for everybody. Okay. Obviously. I know you have to equip the shit, right? Oh, I can put the other ring on, I suppose, right? I'm not sure which one to keep on, the barrier ring or the tri ring. What whatever. 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 Maybe take the bromide off, because that doesn't even really do much. Can't believe I had that on him the whole fucking game. What am I, some kind of fucking freak? You should probably keep that healing ring, yeah. Take the tail off. Yeah, take the tail off of you too. Get the tail out of your ass, guys. Come on now. Uh, okay, so, he's got the angel ring, nice. Gonna make room for some space. Put that bromide there. silver lights probably this whole fight so I got six of them probably one for each is good enough I'd imagine just trying to make sure everyone's somewhat balanced here I'm not even sure if holy water is all that necessary. Nash is the Chartreuse Ranger. Maybe the Puss Puck Puss A Ranger. I don't even know how to pronounce those words, Frog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know how to fucking read or talk or listen. colors. Oh, I see. Alright, I still think I'm gonna get my ass killed, but I'll give it an honest to god shot, just because. Faisha! Bitch probably died, I would imagine. R right? Probably. Get 
medallion. Well, well, well. It appears our little hero found the way at last. And I have just the thank you you've deserved all along, Dragon Boy. Okay. Man, he is a tall fucker, isn't he? Jesus. Oh, fuck. I forgot to heal everybody, didn't I? Well, God damn it. Why aren't I a fucking retard? <laughs> Good thing I just saved before this. Yeah, not everyone isn't topped off on health. Eh. Whatever. can kind of see what he's weak against, maybe. Kefka is still cooler. Well, I wouldn't know. I haven't, uh... I've never fought Kefka at the end of Final Fantasy VI. I've seen Maro take him on. Which is pretty cool. I mean, I was sort of half paying attention because, you know, I, I wanted to do it, you know, myself the first time, you know? Okay, I feel like a total fucking idiot for, uh... Not topping off my health, but that's fine. Check this out. Thunderbolt does 180. That's not bad. It's not bad. So I'm gonna use power drive to up uh, Kyle's attack. He's vigor to up Alex's attack. I'm gonna need to make everyone not be as dead. Kyle uses power up. Oh, wow, so just a bitch slap does 110? Okay, 110 to Nash. Does like 80 something to Kyle. Fuck, dude. Uh. I would guess we just wanna spam Sword Dance, probably. You probably wanna defend there, Nash. Yeah, I think about it. Power up uh, Alex some more. You go ahead and use power slash on him. You heal. Okay, Alex's attack is up 47 more. Sword stance is 306. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Damn, that power slash does a good amount too. 341. Oh shit, Inferno? That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt! Ow! Jesus Christ. That's nuts. Um. Oh, well, we have Dragon Healing. That heals everybody. I assume that's max. Max healing for everyone? Because that's fucking 40 MP there. So. No, fuck it. Fuck it. I said I was going to show off all the dragon things anyway, so. Okay, Nash, Nash. Uh, I guess shoot Thunderbolt at him, whatever. You. You throw a fucking fireball, I guess. Power slash. Check this out. Pump him just in case. He doesn't heal everybody as fast as no. What's Flame Bomb doing against him? 43, not bad, not bad. Althena, lend me your power! So this is Dragon Healing. Okay, I guess it is like a full heal, okay. I mean, you would think Jessica would have like a, a fully heal everyone spell, but she does not. She only has a full heal for one individual. It's like, eh, you know, whatever. Just keep spamming our shit. Oh, wait, he's gonna do that fireball attack again, isn't he? Because his arms are, like, glowing. L let me try to defend against that, maybe. Especially Mia, because she's kind of low already. Give a uh, healing nut to Mia there. Oh, he uses a different move? Nitro Dagger? What the fuck does that do? Ooh. 
damn. Yeah, I assume this guy has like Check this out. two or three phases, because you know he's supposed to be like a final boss. You know, tough shit. Athena, lend me your power. Besides, we still have to see the cool cutscene of when Nal turns into a dragon. We got to see that, you know. Come on. Yeah, he's doing that magic cock slap there, or magic bitch slap, whatever you want to call it. Attack here, fuck. Uh, let me. Let me have Nash defend. Me yeah, and you attack. You attack, Jessica, heal. By the power of Athena! Uh, I wonder, does he switch? When his hands are glowing, does he just swap between the ice and the fire attack, or is it Athena, lend me your power. random? Oh, he uses a wind attack now? Tornado? Fuck me. That probably hurt. Yep, that did hurt. Fuck. Oh, hey, how's it going, Swamp Donkey 12? Just got here, but have you been racing your Alex Kyle's attack with spells? Uh, yes, I have been. Like, uh... Like, before the start of the battle, I use, uh, Vigor on Alex. And for Kyle, I use his, uh, attack boost thing, too. And then, uh, Mia, I have her cast her buff spell on those two as well. I've been doing that, and I've pretty much been doing, like, sword dance. Like, spamming the hell out of that with Alex. And then, um... Kyle has his own... kind of... high-hitting single target... move, which is pretty effective. What's this thing called? Power Drive, yeah. I use, I use that. And Power Slash here. It's pretty useful. Check this out! But yeah, I've been doing that pretty much since the second half of the game. By the power of Athena. Athena, lend me your power. I mean, I don't know if it I don't know if their damage can be boosted up even more, but like I can do like around 700 or so damage around if everything Works, you know. Uh, as you defend, yeah, you keep hitting. Kyle, do that. Jessica. Actually, you know what, Jessica, use. He'll Nash all the way there. By the power of Athena. Oh, thanks for the follow, Swamp Donkey. I appreciate it, sir. I take it you are probably a fan of rock and roll. What the hell does that do? Oh, it's like an earthquake move. I I mean, if I had to guess, he just swaps between all the elemental kind of, you know, spells in the game or whatever. Also, holy shit, I was almost wiped out there. That was close as fuck. Actually, you know what? Let's let's not push push our luck. Let me uh okay, Nash, you're, Nash, you're probably yeah, your damage output isn't even that good. Let's give a healing nut to Kyle. Mia, use your healing nut on yourself. Kyle, use power slash. Jessica. Okay, you were curious, you remember doing like 600 damage to this guy, but you were a little kid and you're pretty sure you were super over leveled. 
Very likely. I'm in uh, the early 40s. Ooh, shit. I thought for certain he was going to wipe out Mia there. This is actually your first RPG. Huh. Who knows? Either way, great game. Yeah. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I definitely, uh... I definitely enjoyed this than the other kind of classic RPG I played. I think it was Sweeken in 2. It's definitely better than that. Although a bit cornier, I would say. Thunderbolt. I don't want you to use your only healing nut there, girl. I don't know, is Ice Shell, is, is that, like, I, I didn't really use it, except for, like, the very beginning of the game, but is Ice Shell even really worth a damn? Like, if, if it applied to everybody when I used it, then I'd probably use it to boost defense, but it doesn't seem like it's really worth it now. I don't know. By the power I think he's about to wipe out a couple of my people here, unless I can heal in time. Check this out. Because I know he's charging up for a spell. Althena, lend me he's probably going to work something out there. Inferno, that's going to hurt. Ow. Well, that's what I have the rings for, right? But yeah, that's only a one time, so... I like how it restores all their HP, at least. Fuck. Um... Oh shit, I definitely need to use the silver things now. Because they're basically at MP. to use his silver thing in a, in a bit. So you gotta do your magic pimp slap there for two people. Give it to the lucky couple, I guess. If you do. Okay, you, you hit him. Everybody else just defend, honestly, except for the two attackers, really. So you two. Da -da. You attack. You heal. Althena, lend me your yeah, I'm sure this, this form he has a shit ton of HP regardless, so I'm gonna guess like 12,000 hit points or some nonsense. He's that Nitro Dagger. Now I wonder if some of these spells they hit uh, in accordance to like position at all. Like I don't really fuck around with that in this game, but I'm curious if that's a factor in this particular fight. So, spam lightning, da da da. Spam flame bomb, da da da. Oh, you can use one more of those power slashes, nice. Heal. Check this out. By the power of Althena. Unfortunately, it's about time for bed for you. Unless I finish in the next 15 minutes. Althena, no, I'm sure I'm gonna wipe out. Power. I'll just have to. I'll just have to beat it next time I stream this, which will probably be like Saturday morning. Because I, I imagine Friday night will be, uh... I imagine Friday night will be, uh, pretty, pretty busy. But I mean, you could always, uh... You could always watch the ending, um, if I happen to get lucky. 
could always watch the ending on uh, YouTube. But, I mean, I'm getting pretty fucking tired right now, though. Because it's almost midnight. Uh... I, I hate how he does those AoE magic attacks. It's really a pain in the ass. Is that silver light on you, Kyle? Call an Althena, lend me your power! Because, like, some of these, I swear, you're just... You're just barely going to survive some of these moves he does to you. I probably was better off grinding a bit. Like before the top of this tower. Thank God I have another save. Yeah, Kai was really close to getting knocked out there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you're not doing a whole lot of damage anyway. Well, you might, you might as well throw your nuts at Kyle, I guess. Giggity. Okay, well, there's phase one down. That's cool. Yeah. But there's no way it'd be that easy game. Probably about to get wiped. Fuck off with the levels. That doesn't matter. It's the end of the game, bro. Yeah, he's not dead. I don't, I don't buy that. We won? We won! Alex, I think you did it. No, you didn't, you fucking idiot. I mean, we did it. Although that's not what I'll be telling the gang when we get back to Nansa. You don't mind if I take most of the credit, do you, Alex? <laughs> Shut up. Kyle, you big blow hard. You came through. You were wonderful. I've never been so proud of you. Blah, blah, blah. I want to have your babies. I don't think we should celebrate until everyone is here to do with... <laughs> until everyone is here to do it with us. All right, let's find Luna and take her home. Okay, time to finish this. Oh, is this another... Uh... Okay... It actually gives me another moment... Gives me another instant to save? What the fuck? That's kind of weird. Huh. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll... Save over the grindery quarters? Because I'm pretty sure I'm at the point of no return, aren't I? Yeah. Alex, there's no time to waste. Luna's on the other side of this door. Okay, yeah. It is point of no return. That's what I thought. Alex, look, Luna's over there. After all this time, I can hardly believe we're finally here. Well, go on, Alex. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Alex, buddy, you've shown me the power of love. And you've brought Jess and me back together. But I won't hold the last part against you, Tiger. It appears that our big adventure is about to draw to a happy conclu conclusion, guys. And that's not a thought I savor. I've truly enjoyed our time together. As have I. Now hurry, Alex. Luna is waiting for you. Yeah, whatever. Oh, you're not going to let me... Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't call me a dummy, Jessica, you fucking bitch. I'll fucking fight you. Da, 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 da. Break the spell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should read this dialogue, but I literally cannot be bothered. Yeah, happy ending bullshit. She's probably still possessed by the devil or some shit. Luna. Luna? Alex? Luna! Alex! Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Luna? If one named Luna once resided within this wretched skin, she has taken leave of it. What are you saying? All the remains of the one you held dear is the shell you see before you. In that body, 
once torn from her innocent control, was free to serve its one true purpose. Oh no. Farewell, Alex. Alex, the last grain is about to fall from the top of the hourglass. No! She's evil and shit. Who would have thought? The walls! She's trapping us! Probably. Luna, what's happened to you? Ha 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 ha. Step forth and witness a demonstration of the power I now command. Ah! Man, she fucking bitch slapped you to death. Also, that's a pretty sexy outfit, honestly. You shouldn't have interfered. Haven't you figured it out? There's no way to stop this. Uh, Luna? Yes, this is the PS1 version, and it doesn't have a patch applied to it. Boy, that's a face. And she looks really good in that outfit, goddamn. Tower. This can't be real. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing, isn't it? Behold, 
the long-forgotten fortress of all things. That's the voice of Galleon. <gasps> Impossible. Spoilers, he's alive. But yeah, sorry I didn't uh, say hi to you earlier, Rusty Robot Bud. But welcome to the stream. Uh, I really hope I could beat this game in the next half hour, because it's midnight now. But yeah, this is uh this is the PlayStation One version. I had the disc put in my PS3 to read it. Are there any good modern games with great anime storyline like this one? This is so awesome. It is pretty cool. Like that? That's probably my favorite cutscene of the whole game, honestly. Epic cutscene is, f epic cutscene is epic. Says Funky, he's fucking hyped. Now nah, keep going for a bit. You'll see natural stopping point. All right, all right. This this is impossible. We defeated you. No, you didn't. That would have been way too easy. Now, now, Nash. I would have thought that surely you would have detected the illusion. You see, what you defeated was just that, an illusion. And not a particularly interesting illusion at that. Your longing to believe what you see is somewhat endearing. But I do find it a tad insulting that you so readily believed I was defeated by you. What has happened to Luna? Tell us what you've done to her, Galleon. There, there, no need to take that tone with me. One should always maintain proper decorum when in the company of superiors. Or didn't your little friend Lake relay that gem of etiquette to you? Regardless of your little transgression, I shall tell you what you seek to know. I've done nothing to her that wouldn't have happened anyway. For you see, the girl you have come to know as Luna is actually Althena herself. Oh my god! Oh, I'm so fucking surprised! Predicted that a good 20 hours ago. So, yeah. You, you're, you're lying to me! I'm afraid it's very true, Dragon Boy. Shocking, perhaps, but so very true. For 15 years, the goddess lived as a human being, with memories buried deep within her soul. But I've awakened the dear goddess, revived her power, and claimed it for myself. With our combined magical strength, your chances of stopping me are nil! Because you're right, 30 minutes will not be enough, yeah. Especially if that, that all thing in a tower is like another dungeon itself. There's no way. Althena, the time has come to depart for the fortress. The cornerstone of our new world order. Yes, Lord Galleon. Yeah, she's going to enjoy some Galleon dick now, probably. You're not going anywhere. Really. Now why would you say a thing like that, Dragon Boy? I used to find your effusive manner somewhat amusing, but now I find it to be a thorn in the side of my ambition. But I'm feeling generous today. I grant your wish. A fight to death, then. That is what you wanted, isn't it, Dragon Boy? Well then, step forth! Okay. Sure. Or this shit. Uh, I mean, I assume he's gonna just swipe us out. Like, I, I would think, like, um, the illusion was just, like, kind of a precursor of things to come, but, like, we can't truly defeat him, because, like, we have to hit, 
It's like a, something has to come along to trigger him to be weakened or something. It, that tends to happen in a lot of games, honestly. But whatever. We're, I mean, we're gonna try anyway, shit. Um, so I guess Vigor... Yeah, let's cast Lightning or Thunderbolt on him, sure. Get Power Drive on uh, Kyle there. His power up. It annoys me. Let me let me top off Alex's health there. Althena, lend me your power. Check this out. I see he's got that right hand, uh, right hand action. Probably about to shock us to death or some stuff. Oh, I forgot to use the actual special move. My bad. Athena, lend me your power. Yeah, use that power slash instead. Here we go. I have no idea why he's not actually fighting right now. He's probably charging up to wipe, wipe, wipe us out, I would guess. But whatever. Check this out. By the power of Athena. Just uh, smack him. Looks like he's time to Ooh. die. Yeah, I figured that'd do a lot of damage. Check this out. By the power of Athena. The fuck is he? Do oh, he's doing another charge. I guess. Uh, okay, Nash. One of those. Fuck me, yeah, you better defend that. Kyle. Take some nuts in your mouth. Time to. Oh, fuck. Die. Holy fuck. Okay, that was supposed to wipe you out. Gotcha. Gotcha. I was like, there's no way I was surviving everyone getting hit 700 damage there. Okay, okay. <laughs> what a delightfully inept showing that was for the good team. With them out of the way, I now claim the title of Supreme Ruler. Okay. The world is my oyster. And dear Luna is now my eternal pearl. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Alex, are you dead? Please answer me. Just turn to a dragon doll. You know you want to. Jessica, Kyle, Nash, Mia. Alex, we have to help Luna. Alex! Just turn to a dragon, dumb bitch. If I don't get them out, if I don't get them out of here now, they're all gonna die, and Luna will die with them. I have to do it, I have to save them. Nall evolved into Never 
I was about to say, you know, it'd be kind of cool if we ended up back in Berg, you know, like our hometown in the game. Oh, my head. Where am I? Wait, I remember. Luna. Galleon! Alex, you're awake! I knew you'd be okay. No, what's going on? After Galleon beat us, the white dragon wings started to shine and brought us here. I don't know what made them do that, Alex. Maybe Quirk was watching over us. You've been asleep. You've been asleep. You've been asleep since we got here three days ago. What about everyone else? Are they asleep too? Oh no, Alex. Your injuries were the wor the most were the most serious by far. Jessica and Mia were worried you might never wake up. Now they've been downstairs trying to figure out what we should do next. Nash and Kyle are well. You should. You, well, you have to see it for yourself, and you won't be too happy. Uh, they're probably fighting. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the breakpoint Funky was, uh, talking about here, so. I think I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and save here again. Hopefully I don't regret, um, losing those two, uh, auto life rings. I still have those other three, though, so that'll be useful for the final, final battle. But, uh, yeah. I need to go the fuck to sleep. Because I'm tired. And I gotta work in the morning. Uh, I guess I'm gonna be beating this game Saturday morning then, guys? So, that'll be fun. Uh, I almost don't even give a fuck to rate anybody, but who who's online right now? Who's online? Oh, wow. <laughs> You know I've been streaming late when uh, when Drew is is live. You know what? Let, let's raid him just because I barely see his shit. We're gonna we're gonna raid Drew. Oh. Don't forget to re replace the EQ in those slots. Yeah, I know. I gotta get rid of the. Uh, the things. Oh, fuck. I typed that wrong, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, I, I gotta take off those rings so I don't, so I don't waste them. I'll remember to do that next time. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and all. We'll see you Saturday morning for uh for the finale later.